So we're continuing to work on leveling up and I wanna go ahead and make sure that I'm reinforcing your use of text-based evidence. Make sure you have your collection kit handy when you read. As a reminder, it's pretty simple. Just have post-it notes and tools to annotate with handy. The other thing that I want to do is upgrade your menus to give you even more variety. And so you're gonna get the full selection of fiction choices. You've already had the top row. Now you have more variety. And then I wanna give you the full range of nonfiction choices. Again, you've had the top row. Now we're ready for more variety. One of the cool things that I love about my nonfiction menus is that I'm getting you to locate texts with topics you're interested in and even more getting you to start looking into using some online sources. Here's why. Diverse media. I want you to think about print and digital sources, not print or digital, but rather both. When you get into using online sources, you're gonna navigate hyperlinks and sidebars. And so I'm gonna show you a little bit of that in action. So Google is one of many available search engines that you can use to locate great text on topics that you're interested in. Let's say I'm interested in learning more about animals that live on the tundra. The more keywords that I give for a search, the better my search is going to be. Already, I've got some great things that come up. I can get a lot of different things, such as images. I can find out about animals in the tundra that have been in the news. But I'm going to look for some general information. Check it out. A lot of things are coming up. Wow, where do I begin? Well, let's see. This looks like a web page that was put together by it's elementary students. So I can certainly read the text here. I can navigate back by clicking on my back arrow. How about this one? TundraAnimals.net. Okay, here we go. Check out the hyperlinks here. A hyperlink takes you to another source. Sometimes the hyperlink will take you right within the page you're on, which means to navigate back, you've got to use that back arrow. Sometimes it'll open a whole new tab. So when you click on a hyperlink, it takes you to another destination. There's a sidebar here as well with other links and areas that I can go to. So it looks like I've got a lot of information I can read. Now, it's a little small, so I can increase the size of the print by using a control plus, and that'll help zoom things in. Now I can certainly see easy to find text evidence. You need to make sure that you're still quoting if you are copying directly from the text. To get your screen to shrink back down, you use Control minus, and that'll take it back down to a normal size. So, have fun extending your reading to digital sources as well.